the data scan. Approval from the NMRA is mandatory before any medicine or piece of medical equipment is used in Sri Lanka. Approval granted for the use of these medicines and medical equipment is also renewed periodically by the NMRA. The NMRA completely digitized this approval process in the year 2018. The data of the NMRA was stored on the Lanka government cloud. The data of the NMRA on the cloud is managed by a private company and recently all of this information was wiped clean from the government cloud. The Criminal Investigations Department has already launched an investigation into the incident and several statements have been recorded. The company named Epic Lanka provides us with these services. They say that this can be rechecked and that the data has not been lost. It is the mapping process that has been lost. They have asked us to support them in the recheck process of the government cloud. The ICT institution is the monitoring body for the rechecking process and the Criminal Investigation Department together with the Morotua University are conducting this rechecking process. This incident has not stopped us from registering new drugs and essential drugs and equipment related to COVID-19. We continued these activities manually, so there is no need for any fear of a shortage of essential drugs. This is a data scam similar to the bond scam. The issues surrounding this matter will come out in the future as it continues to unravel. We don't know how this information got out, who took this information, what information was taken and for what reason the information was taken out. We request the President to conduct a more swift investigation into this incident. This will become an issue of national security. When someone looks at this data wipe, any person will be left with a reasonable suspicion as to if this is the work of a medical drug mafia and was this data deleted for such a reason. The state minister in charge of pharmaceuticals, Channa Jayasumana, must reveal to the public what happened with this information at the next parliamentary sitting. We don't know if asking about this data scam from the state minister would be futile. We believe that the government did this knowingly. When the government loses their system, the door opens for the medical mafia to carry out its scams. <laughs> If the data system was compromised, there are five people who must be held accountable for this. First of all, the four people who know the password and also the company Epic Lanka that was in charge of managing the information on this cloud. The issue we have is that we have still not received any reports that the CID has questioned any one of these parties. Is this data cloud not that important? Is it not that important to further the health policies of the country? Then why is the NMRA sending temporary registration applications to multinational companies and companies that import medicine to the country? Wasn't there a backup on this information on the cloud? Is the deletion of such sensitive information stored on the Lanka government cloud not a threat to national security? Who are the people behind this? The Data Scam